Hey guys and welcome to part 6. So the first thing I did is I deleted the walls around here and then I imported the asteroid field. If you need to remember how to import, you just right click on the uh, blueprint, go to asset actions, migrate, save it, hit OK, and then you make sure that you put it on the uh, content folder. So on real projects, VR space combat content folder. Put it there and then I'll bring it in. If you haven't made this procedural asteroid video yet, you can uh, check out my video on my channel about making that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to increase the scale of these ships so they're a little bit larger. So we'll go into them, go into the viewport, select the plane mesh, set its scale to 5, 5, 5. You might need to move the camera back a bit. Compile that, save, close, save, so now our ships are a little bit bigger, which looks a little nicer. We hit play, go into them, and you'll notice that one bug is, is the asteroids don't yet have collision. This is because SM Rock doesn't have collision by default, so let's add that. So we'll go to the starter content, props, SM Rock, we'll go to collision at the top, add 26 DOP simplified collision, save that, close it, save, hit play, Go up to our ship, fly into one of these asteroids here, and we should bounce off it. Yep. All right. So we'll stop that. <coughs> now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the um, background here, the BP Sky Sphere. Get rid of that. And then we're going to select the Atmospheric Spog. If you need to find it, go into the World Outlier search, type at Atmospheric fog, select that, delete that. And now we've got a much nicer spacey scene where we can fly around and bump into asteroids. And then we can get out of our ship, assuming we're over this platform here, if we're low enough, and we'll get out. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next